I have Ross from the Skate Hut stand with me now. Hello, Ross. Hello. How are you feeling this morning? It's the last day. Very sad. It is sad, but I'm looking forward to getting back to proper work tomorrow. <laughs> I bet. Now, what are you showcasing on your stand this week? You've got, uh, got lots of different products on display. Yeah, that's right. So we're showcasing all our arrays of products, uh, which specialise in like caster boards. So kids are jumping on the products, having a lot of fun, spinning around and round in circles. So have you, you yourself been testing them out and showing people how they work? I've been trying my best, uh, getting on a bit in, in years. I'm not that great on them, but I can do the ones where you have to sit down and not balance. I'm pretty good at them. So what has been your best seller here this week? Um, the actual, the ripstick, um, which is a caster board, it's like a skateboard that you, you sort of snake around on, it's self-propelled. You can turn it quite tightly, so it, if you're good at it, it's quite good on these narrow gangways. So is that a bit more of a, a uniquely designed skateboard as such? It, you, the yes. way that you move is a bit more... Uh, Advanced, maybe? Yeah, it's sort of you just sort of snake it, almost swim it like a fish. It's quite unique and it's easy just to get on and have a quick go, and like a skateboard where you probably have to get good at it over a couple of months. Is there anything else that you're pushing this week that's quite interesting? Yeah, um, one of Jason Bradbury's favourite toys, the Rip Rider, which I mm -hmm. think he's taken on in the show. He, went, yeah. he borrowed one off us, which by the way we want back <laughs> at the start of the show. Uh, that's sold out actually, so that's been really popular for us. Um, that's like a sit on trike, mm -hmm. like kids. Well, it's supposed to be aimed towards sort of kids, but that's the one I like. You just get to sit down, it's not too tiring, <laughs> and you get to you can really hit people's ankles with that one. And have you had a look around the rest of the exhibition this week? I've tried my best. It's been pretty hectic on our stand, but I went into the uh, <laughs> Panasonic um, 3D cinema, which was quite good. I'm not sure I can afford 55,000 for the 102 inch one, though. Also. That's just being greedy, though, 102 inches. I probably wouldn't even get that through my door. <laughs> no, actually, that's a good point. <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, enjoy the rest of your time here, and I hope you get the chance to look around. Uh, hopefully, so do I. I don't think I will do today, though. <laughs>